And believe it or not, here in Connecticut, on the final night of the General Assembly session last week, the overwhelming majority of state representatives voted to reduce security at the state capitol complex in Hartford. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joining us live tonight with the new details on this. Mark, it's alarming. Yeah, hi, Scott. Believe it or don't. Uh, good evening, everyone from the Hartford newsroom. Everyone expects personal screening at the airport and at the courthouses, but apparently a majority of Connecticut state representatives don't like it at the state capitol. Three years ago, airport-type personal screening security was added to all public entrances of the state capitol complex. It has been like this for decades at the state's courthouses. But with just nine minutes left in the General Assembly session last Wednesday night, the House voted 106 to 44 to remove it, it was supported by nearly all of the Republicans and about half of the Democrats. With minutes left in the session, the bill was sent to the Senate, where Democratic leader Martin Looney decided not to put it on the agenda because there wasn't enough time to discuss such an important issue. I talked to Senator Looney. We felt we should read it and talk to our caucus. We had less than 10 minutes, so we couldn't move on the bill. New Haven Senator Gary Winfield has been involved with many high-profile controversial issues. I never advocated for uh, the security that we have, uh, but I think it makes people feel safer. Here's what House Republican leader Themis Claritus said when I asked her about voting to remove the security. We don't like the mark. We don't think that they necessarily make the people in this building safer. The governor, who has been threatened more than once, has a full-time security detail. He said today the vote was a mistake. I think we need security. Um, we live in a, uh, um, a society where that's highly appropriate, um, and uh, so that was not ever my idea and, and not something that I, I ascribe to. A lot of people don't like them. They don't feel that they are that they're helping us and you know we go back to it's the people's building. The reality is this, uh, we walk outside of that building, uh, we live in neighborhoods, that information is available to the public uh, and if people really want to get to us they can get to us there. The governor also said today that today's shooting in Alexandria outside Washington DC is another reason why quote we need saner gun laws in America. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.